Alright, I'm so sorry for what I did last time. I forgot that we have to make uh, the folders uh, separated. Like, so we have to create a engine folder in here. Engine. Um, we want to call it engine. And we want to put all of these things here into that. So uh, now we just want to exit that because that doesn't exist anymore. Open this. Uh, we want to find all the textures once again because if we and we do this and just find all the textures it, do, it sh I don't think it should work we can try to see if it works if we export it once again because we have to do that but I highly doubt it does it work Okay, apparently it did work. Uh, that is actually very surprising. Um, but so yeah, but we have to make a engine folder and we want to make a... Oops, we want to make a boogie folder. We want to make a simulations folder. Simulations folder. Um, and we want to make a cab folder. We want to make a sound folder, and um, so we have all the necessary things. Um, when we have that, we're basically ready to do what we want to do. So we open our blueprint editor, go into source, uh, find our uh, little boy shake decay, uh, find Lytra EG, electric, sound, uh, simulations, exit cap, and boogie. Now we have nothing really except for the Elytra EG. So what we want to do is we want to add an electric blueprint. So we go to blueprint and we go to find engine blueprint. And we call it Elytra EG. And we just call it Elytra EG here so. uh, In browse information we want to call it Elytra, oh, I want to call it um, Green Cargo EG Jean Cargo Elytra EG because it's a G green cargo uh, train or locomotive so that's what I'm gonna do uh, Front coupling pivot I don't want to do that right now the mass we can go in and check um, I could do you. Wait 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 here it is 132 tons 132 ease of derailment front pivot we create a little pivot point uh, empty plane axis that's minus front pivot is here 1048 that is the ooh if I remember we should use that we can check my old my, like my first vehicle because I haven't done this in a in a while uh, there it is and we rail components yes it's the X axis okay I was right and then we create just minus that uh, let's just check if it does if it's like that it is good collision sensor X that was just zero and then we have the set origin that's gonna be 1.688 why is like the uh, Y okay, so X is like uh, front to back um, Y is top to bottom and C is then from side to side so it's a bit different than what it is in blender but that is something you just learn with it collision width uh, gotta be we check in here, length 295, uh, we do that here, 29, oh, 295, 295, what, that's not what it is, oh my lord, there you go, 3 meters uh, in width, and 442, 442, wait, let's see if that actually is what it is. Okay, that is what it is. And what about the three meters? 
that's not the three meters. That is the three meters. Yeah. All right, it fits. Group. Uh, we go back. We go into uh, drag coefficient. We don't want to do that. Um, the engine type is an electric locomotive. It's a valid standalone locomotive. And it's, uh, yeah. Uh, then we don't want to do this yet. Render component. Here it is. Let's just close this. Find this. Uh, we want to copy. We want to click on the Elytra EG and copy it. And then it wants to be the geometry and the collision geometry. Um, the animation. We do that later. Engine simulator file or simulations file. We do that now. We just copy it because we don't want to do. I don't know how to do it from the bottom or from scratch. So we just go in, copy it, and okay. Wait, we just pick all of this. Okay, it doesn't. Let me just copy that one. Delete the simulations folder. Paste in. There we have it. Then we engine simp file. That is the XML file here. Uh, we want to do Porsche decay as a writer up here, and then this product is like a G. Oh wait, it's. Oh wait, I forgot. You cannot have the meters. You just delete the meters. Or the M. Uh, control, uh, we can copy that because it's going to take a while if we want to create it from scratch. We can do that like some other time when I actually understand most of it. Control values, we copy that. Paste it into control values. And then we just find... Um, Wants to okay. We just go through the whole. We just there you have it. And we want to delete all the animations that it has because we don't have any animations yet. So we're just gonna delete everything. Okay, great. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close all of this because we don't need it now. Else it's going to be a pain in the ass when we have to scroll through all of this. That's why I'm closing it. The script component, we can just copy that here as well, the engine script, it's just something that we'd like to have, uh, paste it in, and copy it, and just copy it there. Uh, for cargo component, we don't really need anything. That is, oops, that is it for, what, what? Okay, Siri, cool. No one cares. <laughs> so um, that is it for the simulations, all the engine blueprint file. Then we can go, go into the simulation file. We're going to do that later, but we're just going to category. Uh, we're not going to do that now. Wait, where is it again? I have totally forgotten where I do this. Yeah, it's all right. We're gonna do that later. Mm. Okay, that is all right. We're just gonna do interior geometry. It's a double cap. Um. If it's double cap, I haven't really tried making double caps. 
as much, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Yeah, we're not gonna do that just yet. We're just gonna wait with doing the cab. I mean, we can do, we, we can just pick the geometry for this and paste it, interior geometry ID, interior camera, we're gonna do that. So for the bogey, we want to have a uh, bogey blueprint, as you would probably guess. We want to call it B01 uh, for bogey one. Uh, did we do that in here? Wait a minute. Okay, we did do that. We did do that. We did also change its name. All right, great. I totally didn't remember that we did that. Uh, the geometry for the bogey one is uh, B001. B001. Uh, wait. B002. Wait. Now I'm going to check. Uh, B001. Yes, B001. It doesn't have an animation. It is powered. Uh, it got an axle here. It got two, three axles actually. One, two, three. Uh, we want to. That is where I'm dumb. Okay, we're just gonna do it a bit different. We're gonna paste this, try to hit like both middles here. We're gonna try, we're gonna say. Okay, I, I don't really know, but we're gonna try and say. Um, 2.9, 2.9 for the first one. The node ID is uh, B001 wheel 03. And then for the next one, it's going to be 4.9 B001 wheel B001 wheel 02. Where did the B001 go here? And then for the last one, it's gonna be 7.1. Yeah. That is gonna be B001 wheel. I have no clue if this is gonna work, but we're gonna hope so. We can duplicate that by copy editing, pasting it, and call it bo02.xml. Uh, and we just change it to 02. Oh no, 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 that is not the one. Right, we save that, go into 02. Call it 2 That's gonna be 2.9, 4.9, and 7.1. So we just write minus, minus, and minus, and then 2, 2, 2, and we just make sure. Uh, wheel 3, case different, and then we'll go to 1. Yeah. Okay. So now that we have the two bogies, we can go into our file here again. Find the bogey file, there it is. We want to have two bogies. Bogey pivot X, so we click this. It is 4.9 meters there and 7.1 meters up in the air. Point shift DK, oops, big B, point shift DK, ultra EG. Copy the first one, B001. And for the second one, we just do the same. Oh, remember, no M's, or no meters. Great. Uh, we're gonna fix that later. Um, 
then it's just the same here with a minus in front, except for that one. There's the Boki 2, Boi Shoki Kei Lytra EG. Yeah, cool. Um, so now we want to fix the simulations file. As you can see, we have a lot, load of stuff that we need to fix. The CSV file, we find it here. Track to forward V speed is this one. Copy it and just paste it. And then we have the track to effort V throttle, this one. And the effort versus brake effort, dynamic brake. Uh, yes, that's one. And then the script. Now it should work, if I am not mistaken. Oh uh, yeah. That should work. We can then we need all we need to do is go back to Railworks. Um Find the RWA's tool, add. Then we want to add all the this one, this one, this one. Then we want to find the textures that we made. That is not the ones I'm using, no. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yep, and then we open it, and then we next and start to convert it. Finish it. Then we export it, see if it wants to work. It doesn't. Could not. Oh no. Okay, could not add, add texture dependencies. Alright, I'm just gonna try and fix that, see what's wrong, so I'm gonna be back in a bit. Okay, see I'm back. I figured out what was wrong. Um, you cannot, uh, I don't, you cannot, like, convert a .jpg file, so uh, I, I made it a .png file instead. So now it's called uh, engine.png for the grey one. Um, that should work. I think that was what was the problem. So uh, let's see if it wants to work now, if we just export it. Seems like it's working. No, what? What? Oh god. Convert inconsistent loading. Oh well. Oh well, oh well, well. Looks like gotta find some. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can rename this to Booby One Dot XML. Oops. Yes, and then Booby Two Dot XML. Inconsistent loading. Okay, we're gonna make these go together, together with this, just to make them go together, why not? Um, these horns as well, these can go together, these two can go together, together with that. See, this is the problem when you make too much detail and stuff and then it doesn't work. Um, that's what I gotta learn. You always gotta make sure that it works before you do much more to it. Kurt, I, I think this might be the 
default uh, cap back. together these two go together um, this is like really hard to figure out okay I think if this doesn't work I'm just gonna try to figure it out Self. Oh, yeah, we want to go in here and find a uh, brand no engine, no rail vehicle uh, component. The bogey, and then we want to copy the new bogeys, copy, put them in, copy, put it in. Save that one, export it. It doesn't work, I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, export succeeded! Hey! Wait, am I still recording? I have. Okay, great. It works! Uh, we go into our Steam startup train simulator and see if it works. It would actually be really amazing if it works. If the game wants to start up, all right, there we go. Oh, <laughs> my game crashed. Okay, I'm just gonna start up the game and I'll be right. Okay, we're in. So let's see if it wants to, or if it does work. So first of all, we gotta, uh, we gotta turn it on. That's RG, we got it there. Ooh, let's see if it's there. Moment of truth, we called it green cargo. <sighs> it's there. Oh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> Okay, I mean it works. It work. I mean it does work. Uh, but we have a bit. Uh, yeah, that is something I forgot, and we gotta fix that. Um, I mean it does work. Let's does does it want does it drive? Maybe. Let's just do that. Let's see. Okay, I mean, it does work. Oh, oh, ah, yeah, well, I mean, we did get it in, now we just have to kind of fix uh, these uh, minor things. Um, so I think that is what we're gonna do. Um, I know for a fact that to fix this, we have to fix the rotation and the uh, scale of everything. So we do that by pressing, we can, al we can actually just press A, object, apply and then rotation and scale but then we have the problems with uh, these things yeah but I, I guess that's kind of what we need to have to do then um, now we just have to get them up and make them actually get in place yeah um, There we go, now that is in place. And 
now this is almost in place. There we go. Almost. Okay. And then this last one. <laughs> Oops. We gotta get that in place as well. What are you doing down there? one so yeah we have to do that uh, we have to do that again at some point because that that is that is that is not really what uh, we wanted uh, it to do um yeah yeah what happened here oh my god Alright, we get that down. Uh, wrong way. No, actually, not wrong way. Get that down to a zero degree angle. We put that there. Rotate this up. This is the sum of the things that we have to go through when we're making this, and it's extremely annoying when it happens. But it's something that happens. Let's see, what was. Okay, zero. Zero, zero, and a zero angle. Not a plus, but a zero angle. A bit more down, actually. very confused with this right now okay oh, okay there we go now it's in the middle oh my god <laughs> it's annoying Now we made it back to the start and we're gonna export it again. Uh, IGS, Nitro EG. I forgot to exit that, let's just exit that. It's probably still not gonna drive. Uh, but 
at least it's gonna work, kind of. Yeah. So the diameter is the half of that. Two six point twenty five. Just copying that. So it's the half. Uh, so as you remember, I didn't change uh, it in here. The wheel radius, but that is basically the half of the y or the c axis. And we want to paste that there. And on every single axle, there is. So we just want to do that. I did uh, do that correct. Um, now I guess we could try and see if it works again, but I highly, highly doubt it. So 425, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 125 again? That's like the wheel gauge, but the, the half, yeah. I hope that's gonna work, collision center. I'm just gonna place it higher. Maybe that's gonna work. Ease of derailment. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it on that. Okay, let's save it, let's export it, and I'll go into the game and see if Okay, it as you can see now, it does uh, kind of work. Um, yeah, um, I mean, it does work, but it does, okay, it still jumps. So that's something I want to fix in the next episode. This episode was probably a bit short, but I mean, at least we got it imported into Train Simulator, and that is pretty much what we wanted. So, um, I'll see you guys in the uh, next episode. Bye!